here we are on the grid with just about 12 minutes to go until race time and you can see the man in pole is Jorge Lorenzo, his seventh pole of the season. It really is quite astonishing. Um, he won here last year, he won here the year before and both times going from pole. So big expectations for the Spaniard. He'll be hoping to uh, get a couple more wins, I should imagine, before the end of the season now. You can see Nicky Hayden, our man in second. I'm just going to see if he'll have a quick word with us if I come around the back of the bike. Just try not to interrupt too many people. Nicky. Nicky, hi there. How are you doing? Um, it's a tough session, isn't it? Nobody's really had a chance to set up their bikes for this weather. Yeah, it's just been one of those weekends. You got the job after Eddie Howe left to go to Burnley. Someone had come to you and said, right, 11 matches from now, one loss. You'd be happy with that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would have, yeah. You've played football at the most competitive levels for 15 years. You've only had two months managing. Which do you prefer? <laughs> at the moment, I'm enjoying managing. Well, Rafa Benitez admits Liverpool have to win almost all their remaining matches to have any chance of catching Manchester United. Liverpool are eight points off the pace going into this afternoon's match against Manchester City at Anfield. This small town, just a few miles from Italy's Adriatic coast, is the home of nine times world champion Valentino Rossi. Growing up, the roads around Savulia were Rossi's racetrack. The quiet country lanes, a picturesque backdrop to a young boy's dream. Here, the multi-million pound sports star is amongst friends and family. This is a place where superstar Rossi can be simply Valentino. Well, I couldn't let Steve get in and all the fun without having a little bit myself, so I took a slightly different guided tour of the track. Oh my goodness. Oh. Just going over a start and finish that. And that is honestly one of the scariest things I've ever done in my life. Whew. What was well, our top speed? Done about 160 odd. About 160 odd. <laughs> you see, that's fine. I tell you what, that was ridiculous. Now, breaking news just reaching us this morning. BMW Sauber today have confirmed their withdraw from Formula One at the end of the 2009 season. Now, they're the second team to go in December. You might remember that Honda uh, decided to withdraw as well. Robert Kubica and Nick Heinfeld are their drivers. They were third last year. This season, they currently lie eighth out of ten. And they've said that they're going to call it quits at the end of the season. Welcome to the 2010 FIM MotoGP Awards Ceremony. Your hosts for this evening, Ernest Riveras and Jenny Gao. I'm sure everybody wants to hear from you before you run away. So, the end of an era with you and Yamaha and a tough season for you with your injury as well. Yes, especially very painful.